everyone. Um, I'm just in the garage with my old 1971 F100 Ranger XLT. Now, I paid a guy $170 to come and detail my car. Uh, he told me he didn't want to use a buffer on it because he was worried he might remove some of the paint. Um, basically, he didn't bring anything that can plug in and he just sort of wiped all over it with some kind of supposed protective stuff and basically the car looks exactly the same as it did he didn't do the inside he didn't do the engine bay he didn't do any of the things that he'd said in his ad that he would do and stupid me i got ripped off and lost 170 bucks but so i've been looking on youtube for videos on basically how to restore the old original paint he insisted that there was no way that you get a full gloss to it but I've since found out that that's not true. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube about how to get the original paint and the patina look back to as shiny as if it had a clear coat over the top of it. And, you know, I quite like the beat up look, like there's a little bit of rust showing through and I'll show you that in a minute. And um, that's kind of what gives it the character. And I love the original color. This is 1971 Seafoam Green. It's the original, colors that was painted on the truck with original paint it's in really good condition luckily for me a um, little bit of surface rust in the back of the bed and i've been umming and ahhing whether i should repaint that repaint the whole truck or just restore it as much as i can to um, so it doesn't age anymore and keep it as it is because it's just so beautiful the way it is and and i kind of like it looking like a beat up old truck so it's kind of cool um, I'll show you where the rust areas are and I'll show you a neat little trick that I found at how to make a part of it that this guy reckoned couldn't be done and I just worked it out by myself so I'm pretty stoked with myself so I'll give you a tip on how to restore a little part of a F100 truck. So as you can see it's got that usual patina look about it and spots like this where the, where the rust is sort of starting to show through a little bit and on the front there as well but other than that the paint's actually in really good condition it's got the ranger wood grain and um, trim down the side and in the back of the bed a little bit rusty nothing too bad um, these trucks tend to have a little bit of a kicked up at the back slant so often moisture can collect around this end which makes it a little bit more rusty down this end um, my truck's quite lucky in that it's always been parked on a hill downwards or now it gets to live in the garage full time. So I'm hoping that that won't ruin anything more. And along the back, it's still, you know, got a little bit of rusty along the top, but otherwise it's in really good shape considering its age. So anyway, the tip I wanted to show you was about this nice little Ranger trim and I'll show you what it did look like. So it's a bit hard to get into here. This is a bit squashy in my garage, but you can see that it's got this beautiful trim with the wood grain on the top and the bottom. But the wood grain, I'm not sure if you can really tell in these photos, but in the video, it's all kind of pale and washed out looking. It almost looks white because it's faded out and there's really no luster to that wood grain at all. And it's like that all the way along. So I said to this guy, you know, is there any way to restore that wood grain or, you know, I found that you can actually order almost every part for these trucks. You can get new and that part can actually be replaced, but it seems silly to replace it when it's in such good condition, just lacking the shine. So I was sitting here thinking about it and watching people do restorations on patina and using linseed oil and I was like well I don't have any linseed oil but what I do have in the cupboard was some coconut oil so I just uh, got a cloth got a spoon to scoop out some of the coconut oil and I'll show you what it does because it was pretty awesome really okay so I'm gonna have to crouch down now because I've got it on a tripod to sort of show you as much of the strip so I've got some of the coconut oil just on a spoon and I just get my little rag and squash some of that coconut oil onto the rag 
and then just wiped it along that wood grain. And I don't know how well you can see this, but it's a little bit like magic. All of a sudden, the wood grain looks like wood grain again. Um, I'm not sure how long this effect will last for. It'll be interesting to see when I drive it a few times if this actually stays like that. Uh, but I'm really impressed with it. Like it, it has basically brought the original wood grain back. Um, I think the coconut oil is cleaning a lot of that sort of oxidized stuff off it while bringing up the shine of the wood. Too easy. Looks bloody awesome. I'm stoked. You bloody ripper, mate. Bloody ripper. Looks seriously cool. I don't know. Can you see that? Look how cool is that? It's like it's like it was back in 1971. I think that's really cool. I'm gonna spin the camera around so you can kind of see the difference between the bits that I've done and the bits that I haven't done. I'm loving it. It's pretty cool. So here you can see the part where I've put the coconut oil on the top part and I haven't put it on the bottom half and it's just the you know tiniest bit of coconut oil on the rag just wipe it along the wood grain part and it doesn't matter if it gets over the top onto the silver parts because it's just like wax basically you know it's just wax look at that isn't that awesome so, a couple of minutes, I'll have the whole truck done. Bloody ripper! So, there you have it, my beautiful truck. With beautifully wood grained. Shame about that little ding there. That's literally the only ding on this whole truck. And I've gone all the way around. And around the other side, it's looking oh, so stoked. Looks awesome. I love this truck. It's the bomb. So there you have it. Lisa's magical trick on how to restore wood grain on your F100 should you happen to have a Ranger like I do um, with the wood grain trim on it. Coconut oil. Who'd have thunk it? Stoked. Looks great. <laughs> I'll let you know how long it lasts. <laughs>